Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Eli Aesthetics YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you what I eat in a day and how I stay shredded year round because believe it or not, 70 to 80% of your gains are gonna be made in the kitchen. So you may be doing all the right workouts but still not getting the results you want because you're not doing the right things with your diet. I'm gonna start by showing you guys my breakfast because you've probably heard the saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day and that couldn't be more true. All night, your body's been breaking down your muscle and tissue and so it's really important to get good nutrients and good source of proteins right when you wake up. Every single morning, I make myself some variation of eggs and I try and switch it up that way I never get tired of what I'm eating. As you can see here, I've made a three egg omelet with cheese and turkey inside and I've topped it with a little bit of salt and pepper and cilantro to give it some added flavor. This has about 18 grams of protein and in my breakfast, I also like to add Greek yogurt which has 0% fat and 0% added sugars and that gets me a little over 30 grams of protein for my breakfast. And this is important because having 30 grams of protein for your breakfast plays a special role in activating muscle protein synthesis and it'll get your metabolism kicking so that you can burn more calories throughout the day. I also like to add chia seeds and cacao nibs to my yogurt to give it some more texture and more flavor. And cacao nibs have a ton of antioxidants, which in general can help you prevent illness and even fight diseases like heart disease. And chia seeds have a high source of omega-3 fatty acids as well as fiber and calcium. I like to add some type of fruit to my breakfast. So I have a banana right here and then I always make sure to drink water and stay away from sugary drinks like soda or juices like apple juice or orange juice that have a ton of added sugar because drinking water right in the morning will help flush out any free radicals and get your metabolism working even faster throughout the day. I typically have lunch a few hours after I have breakfast and almost every single day I consistently have chicken and brown rice and I do this because chicken is an excellent source of lean protein and brown rice is a slow releasing carb that's going to give me energy throughout the day and even into my workout in the evening. Having carbs is not inherently a bad thing. In fact, carbs are our body's first source of energy. And so completely restricting and eliminating carbs is a bad idea. Your body is going to have to take the protein that you're intaking, break it down, and then turn it into a fuel source. And so having carbs in moderation is what you should do. I also try and make sure most of my carbs are towards the beginning of the day. That way I'm burning them off and then burning them in my workouts. I also like to incorporate some snacks with my lunch, like these chickpea veggie chips. They're super good and they're also healthy with a lot of simple ingredients. And I try and have some sort of fruit or vegetable on my plate at all times because different fruits and vegetables provide you different nutrients. And like always, I always make sure to drink water with every single meal. And if I'm sometimes getting bored of it, I like to flavor it up with some sort of zero sugar added flavor packet. Now, in between my lunch and my dinner, I make sure to have some sort of protein snack, and oftentimes I choose a protein smoothie. What this has is ice, frozen mixed berries, one cup of spinach, one cup of kale, one scoop of protein, and milk. And I have this because going five or six hours without a source of protein is not a great idea. Your body is either building muscle and burning fat, which is in an anabolic state, or in a catabolic state where you are burning muscle and storing fat. And so having a source of protein every two to three hours allows your body to build muscle all throughout the day. The reason I picked this protein smoothie as my snack is it's an easy way for me to get in my greens and get in the micronutrients that my body needs for that day. A lot of people push micronutrients to the side as if they're not important, but they're essential to our bodily functions and deficiencies can lead to things like fatigue, muscle weakness, and even unusual food cravings, which can result in you eating more calories and not being able to be in a caloric deficit. Now, I typically work out around five o'clock and I work out then because that's when your testosterone begins to spike. But before I work out, I typically try to have a protein bar. That way I get essential amino acids flowing through my system as well as an apple. That way I have some fast acting carbs to give me some fuel for my workout. I also drink about half a bottle of water before and then sip on the rest of it throughout my workout so that I stay hydrated. Post-workout, I also make sure to get a protein shake in. That way, after my muscles have been torn and broken down, my body has the nutrients it needs to recover and build them back up. At dinner, once again, I make sure to choose a lean protein source. So right here, I have ground turkey. And I like to get creative with my dinner recipes. And so sometimes I'll put it over a bed of quinoa and brown rice, or sometimes I make tacos and spread a little guacamole on there, get a source of healthy fats. And I also make sure to have different colors on my plates of fruits and vegetables. That way my body is getting different vitamins and minerals. 
Also during dinner, I try and keep my carb a little bit lower. That way my body doesn't have as many carbs to process and it can simply process the protein and use it to build up the muscles that have been torn down during the day and in my workouts. I'll usually have dinner around 6.30 and by 8, 8.30 I start getting hungry again. So a common snack I'll have is one of these granola bars which contains egg whites as well as some nuts and dates and it really fills me up. Or I'll commonly go to Cheerios because Cheerios are an easy way to help me reach my caloric goal if I haven't already met it. And drinking milk before you sleep is a good idea because it contains an amino acid that promotes sleep. That amino acid actually also turns into serotonin, which increases the amount of melatonin in your body, which is a hormone that helps you sleep better. And I've reiterated this in previous videos, but sleep is crucial in order to get gains and help your body recover from your workouts. You need to realize that this is what I eat for my goals, and this may not work for everybody, but I hope this gives you more knowledge on what you need to eat and why you need to eat it. If you like this video, make sure you tap that like button and comment down below a future video idea you have for me. I post every other Thursday so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss a future video. I love you guys. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.